question. Stop it now! How often do we see marches like this one Put up the gun! directly aimed at ending violence? God, we need the gun violence. We're praying that the enemy will not try to take another child. We want peace! It hurts our community to lose kids. You know, we lost a baby over there. Put up the gun! The answer? More love! More peace! Far too often. It's never ending. I don't care how much work you've done you get today. You got to do that much more or more tomorrow. It's one foot ahead of the other in hopes of making a difference. We want kiss. People's hearts and minds have to be changed. It's kind of normal because when you've been seeing this since you were little, it's kind of normal now. One thing I know about my life. What's not an easy answer is the solution. That's, that's like a, a loaded question because I couldn't just tell you one thing that's going to fix it. Someone die or something happen is just like, damn, like... I don't know, it's just hard. But what is for sure, it's left its mark on our youth. We just overlook violence now. It, it's, it's almost minimal now because we are all very openly aware of that it's occurring, and it's occurring very often. KCRA 3 combed through hundreds of Sacramento police reports since the beginning of 2022. The numbers are overwhelming. We found at least 170 crimes involving guns in just four months. Police worked another 120 incidents involving gunfire. I've spent half of my career assigned to various units that uh, respond to violent crime. And to see families on scene when a loved one has been injured or, or killed, it just breaks your heart. Police can't do it alone. Hey, what, what are you doing? You're That's why all over Northern California, there's a push to find the cure. And to give young people a puncher's chance. Stay in your box and stay in stores. It's definitely better here. And it doesn't get you in trouble, is the best part. From a program at Flawless Boxing. Good. Bring the hand back high, Tor. There you go. To another aimed at getting the community hooked on fishing. Not on violence. I am blessed to be alive. No luck about it. I've been shot five times by one gun. In the one helping teenage girls keep away from brushes with danger. This group is helping me stay out of that trouble because if I wasn't here, I'd probably be out there doing whatever that is. In Sacramento alone, 22 of our neighbors have been killed this year. Another 42 have been shot. It has lawmakers looking for solutions. I think we need to look for new ideas. I think the status quo is just, is, is not um, supported. And it's not just in the capital city. Stockton residents continue to see their share of violence. These children at 11 and 12 are using drugs and they're carrying guns. And the ones coming out of prison are teaching them that. So far this year, Stockton police have worked to solve 20 murders. It's a black eye in, in, in my, my community. And I try to ask myself, what else can I do? Saving our cities doesn't happen overnight. But it can only happen when rubber beats the road. We got a mission, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue that mission until the end.